Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today. I have this box here. What is inside? <laughs> Let's open it up and see. I've been so excited to share this with you all. Look at that. That's beautiful. It says thank you. And it's got pretty little flowers around it. And then that just tells a little bit about the lady that sells these. And this right here is the Rose of Jericho. Does anyone know about the Rose of Jericho? Okay, I didn't know a whole lot about it. But I bought four Roses of Jericho. And when you purchase them, they come dried. And um, they're like a tumbleweed. And they can survive seven years without water. And what they do is they, you know, just form a ball, you know, if they don't have any water. And they form a ball. And then when the wind blows, it rolls them like a tumbleweed until they find another body of water. And then they just, you know, start their roots to grow there. And then they open back up. Well, when you get your Rose of Jericho, you take these rocks here. You can pick any kind of rocks that you want, but I chose glass. And I'm going to put them down here in my water. And then we're supposed to set the Rose of Jericho on top of the water. And it's best if you do warm, lukewarm water. It'll really open up your rose, you know, in that four hour time frame. But our Rose of Jericho is supposed to open up in four hours. And I'm super excited to see if that's really going to happen. Okay, I'm going to pick one of them out of here. I think I want this one in the back back here. So I'm going to reach back there and pull it out. Yeah, right there. Look at that. That's supposed to open in four hours and show us a green plant. <laughs> well, a green, you know, a rose of Jericho. So I'm super excited to see what if this is going to happen, you guys. And a lot of people put like money or coins or stuff like that in there, you know, kind of use it as a um, something fun, but we're not going to use it as that. We're just going to see if this thing will open up in four hours, like it says. Okay, now we're going to make a bowl, a dish for our Rose of Jericho. And I'm going to try to take these birds here and put them on the rim of our bowl. And I have some, uh, see the rim? We're going to try to perch our birds up on the bowl. And I have this bag of silicone that is just some of the silicone that I've trimmed off of some of my molds. Look, you guys, it's already coming down a bit, trying to open. Do you see that? <laughs> okay, um, I have this silicone here and it's just trimmings from past molds. And I'm going to try to find a piece in here that I can trim up. And when we put resin in our birds, this piece might work right here. When we put the resin inside of our birds, I'm going to try to lay some of the silicone down in there so that we can have like a little ditch in the bottom of our birds to perch up on the bowl when we demold it. So I'm going to pick out a piece here and cut it. I'm going to trim that off right there. Yep, get back here. Okay, and I'm just going to try to see about how much I'm going to need for this one. Let's trim it right there. I can take some more off, but I can't add any. So let's start right there. Okay, that might be a little bit too big. So let's trim a little bit more off. And now that's perfect. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for this other one right here. Okay, I'm going to trim it, cut it off. And it needs to be trimmed a little bit. Okay, there we go. If we need to trim some more off of that, we'll do it later. But for now, I think that works. 
Okay, I went and done something else and I came back and it's been an hour since we placed our Rose of Jericho inside the bowl and the water. So look at that. It's already trying to open up. That is wild. <laughs> this is super cool. Okay, I thought we would start with our bowl. I picked out some transparent Sigwong colors here. I got red, green, blue, yellow, and purple. And we're going to make our bowl these different colors here and transparent. And I'll show you at the end of the video why I chose transparent colors. Okay, so I'm going to drop one drop of each colorant inside of my resin here. And I mixed up. 100 mils of Let's Resin Epoxy, 50 of A and 50 of B. And I divided it into these five cups here. Okay, so now we're going to add a little bit of this glitter to each cup. And I mean just a tad, a teensy weensy winkle winkle bit of glitter in each cup. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead and stir those colors up really good get the blue now the yellow and now the purple making sure i get the sides of the cup and the bottom of the cup really good all right now we're ready to go ahead and pour i have all my colors out here and I thought we would add some pretty flowers to our uh, little dish here. Okay, I lined up the colors how I want to pick them up and start pouring. We're going to do the red first. Okay, I'm just going to pour about halfway and then pick up another color and go next to it until I get all around the bowl with all of the colors. But we're only going to do half of each. And the reason I'm pouring just half is so I can get each color around the uh, bowl before I start mixing the colors at the end. You know, I really want the our bowl to showcase each color. So that's why I'm pouring only half of the cup at first. Okay, now let's go ahead and go in and finish our colors off. And hopefully the amount of resin I have out here will completely fill our bowl up. I have a little bit of resin left up there by the yes you can to the left, upper left that says yes you can. There's a cup sitting there and it has extra resin in it just in case we need some. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and finish these cups out. How's everyone doing today? How was everyone's weekend? My weekend was pretty good. Nothing exciting. <laughs> Any of you have anything exciting happen over your weekend? Okay, now I'm just taking my heat gun, popping any of those surface bubbles. Spritz a little bit of alcohol. And now before we fill our bowl completely up, we're going to place these beautiful flowers down into our dish here. And these are just stickers, so I'm just going to pick them off individually and place them down into our dish. I'm going to spritz a little bit of alcohol onto the sticker, and that's to help with the bubbles forming on our uh, little flower sticker here. Okay, I placed it down in there, and I'm going to take my silicone tipped brush here and scoot it right on down in there and place it where I want it. I don't want it touching the rim of the bowl on the top of it. 
So I'm just kind of putting it kind of in the center of the bowl. Okay, now I'm going to peel off another one. And all of these are different. I spritz a little alcohol on it and push it down into the bowl. And now I'm going to take my silicone tip brush and scoot it down in there where I want it. I sped the video up a little bit here so we can go ahead and get these flowers placed down into our bowl. Look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm going to play some light music until I get the, the stickers placed around in the bowl. Okay, now we're going to take the rest of our resin here and we're just going to pour the rest of our colors into the bowl and top our um, mold off. Okay, I see it filling up, so hopefully we have enough resin, you guys. <laughs> I love these colors. They are beautiful. I hope our little bowl here turns out fantastic. Okay, I'm just using that heat gun and popping any of those surface bubbles. Now we're back. It's been two and a half hours, you guys. Look at that. I see some greenery already. It's really trying to open up. Look at that. It looks beautiful. That is so bizarre how that does that. This is amazing. Wow. What do you guys think about that? That's crazy. Okay, now let's get to doing our little birds here. I'm going to spritz the molds with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm going to shake the excess out of the molds. And now I have some resin here. I mixed up about 30 mils because these don't hold a whole lot of resin. And I'm just going to pour the clear resin down into the mold and stop about halfway. I have some glitter out here. There's a blue and a purple here. And I'm just going to put uh, just a teensy, weensy, weensy bit of glitter in there. I mean, not even enough to put the tip of this stick in and get a little bit out. That's just about how much I'm going to put in there. And I'm not touching my mold with this. I'm just twirling it around to get that glitter off of the end of my stick. Okay. Now I picked out some of these uh, artificial flowers here. And I'm going to take this one right here. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to place it down inside one of our birds here. I spritz the artificial flower with a little bit of alcohol. And I'm just bouncing it around trying to get the excess off of it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick it down in here. Upside down in the mold. Because when we demold it, then it will be right side up. And I'm making sure I get all of the flower down in there.
Then I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm just going to cut that little uh, tip off in the center where it was hold uh, onto the uh, the greenery stem where I picked it off of that. I'm just going to cut that part off right there because we need our little piece of silicone to set down in there. And I'm hoping we're going to have enough room to poke our little silicone pieces down in here. It's not looking like I'm going to have very much room in that one at all. So I don't think we're going to be able to put the silicone piece down in this one. Okay, I'm going to pick out this other artificial flower here for our other little bird mold. Okay, there it is. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to spritz it with a little bit of alcohol. And then I'm just going to flick it and get the excess off. And now I'm just going to poke it down in here and get it situated how I want it. Well, it went to the side, so I need to find my tweezers so I can reach down in there and pull it and get it back right. There we go. Okay, I think we're going to add a little bit of alcohol ink, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my tip of the stick here and then drop it down into the resin. Get a little bit more and drop it down into there until I'm satisfied with the color. Now, this is a purple Mod Podge alcohol ink, but it really, if you don't put a whole lot in there, it really is on the pink side. And I'm not putting a whole lot in there, so we're going to get a pink color. And now I'm going to take that sinker white and drop a few little drops in behind the alcohol ink. And I don't know what this is going to look like, you guys, when we demold it. We're just going to hope for the best. <laughs> And I'm just topping that mold off with a little bit of that resin. Now I'm going to use my heat gun, pop any surface bubbles, and then we're going to move, put a little bit more resin in there and then move to this other one over here. That plant, the artificial flower keeps trying to come out of there. <laughs> Okay, now let's work on our other one. This one, this color here is a um, blue Mod Podge alcohol ink. And I'm just sticking the tip down in here and getting the uh, alcohol ink off of it. And I'm not putting much in there, just a little bit. And I'm going to put some of the sinker white behind it and then drop in the clear resin until I top the mold off. And we're not going to have room in either one of these to put the little silicone strip in there. So you know what that means. <laughs> I'm going to have to take the drill to it. Okay, you guys, it's time to demold. I am super excited to see what this looks like. See there, I tried to put the little um, silicone piece in there and it would not fit you guys. It left the indention, see there, from the little silicone piece. but it would not go down in there far enough to make the ditch. Now this one made a little bit better indention in there, but it's still not deep enough to um, sit on our edge of our little bowl. Okay, I'm trying to just demold it here and get it on out of there. But every time I try to pinch the to get in there, my glove keeps getting in the way. So let me see if I can pull my glove up and now reach down in there and get the bird out. There we go. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, it looks pretty interesting in there. I like it. I like it. It's pretty. That's going to look neat on the side of our bowl. I don't really like how I put the sinker white in there. I think I should have held off on the sinker white and not put it in there. But that bird looks pretty cool. So I'm going to keep that one. Let's see what this one looks like. I really should have held off on the sinker white. I should have just dropped the alcohol ink down in there and left it alone. Okay, now I'm going to get this mold off of here and see what we got. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's interesting. I don't like how the glitter 
went straight down the from the nose to the tail on our bird. I mean, it's just a straight line of glitter from the nose to the tail. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is it's beautiful though, but I don't like the strip of glitter that went down it. I'm not liking that at all. But the rest of it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? I may redo this one right here. Yeah, I may redo this one. And just put, do it the same exact way, except for hold off on the sinker white and the glitter. Don't put no glitter in there. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited to see what our dish looks like for our Rose of Jericho. Now, it's still going to be a little soft because this bowl is thin. So it's, you know, thinner pieces of resin takes longer to cure. So it's going to look like I'm smushing the bowl, but I'm really not. <laughs> I just have to, this is how I have to do it to get it out of here. Oh, look at those flowers. The stickers look beautiful. Please, no bubbles, no bubbles. Please, please, no bubbles. Okay, I'm going to flip my mold back in the right way, and then we'll take a look at our dish. Okay, I'm almost there, you guys. There we go. Now, let's get our little dish up here and take a look at it. I love, love the colors, you guys. Let's walk around the bowl and make sure there's no bubbles on here. Oh, look at those flowers. They turned out stunning. Okay, I think everything looks good on there. I did see one little bubble, but it's on the rim on the bottom, and that's no big deal. Okay, I'm going to perch our little birds up here and see what they're going to look like. What do you guys think? I think that's going to be super cute. I'm just walking around my bowl here, checking things out. Okay, now I took my little birds outside and I made a little um, ditch down the center of them so they will perch up here on our bowls perfectly but i'm not going to be using this pink bird because the more i looked at it the more i didn't like it but we're going to go ahead and keep the blue one i am going to be attaching the blue one to the bowl but i won't attach the pink one to the bowl i'm going to remake another bird but i am going to show you how i'm going to put my bird on the side of the bowl. Now that we have the little uh, ditch made in the center, it will sit right up here on the bowl. So I'm going to take my Let's Resin UV Bonder and I'm going to put a strip of it on the bowl. Then I'm going to take my UV Light and I'm going to cure it up. Okay, I need to get situated a little bit different here. I'm going to scoop my bird up just a little bit more. Because I don't like where it was sitting at. It was kind of in a slope. And I need it to be kind of uphill. So I placed it a little bit different on there. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip with alcohol on it. And clean off that bonder that was on the other side of the bowl. And then I'm going to go ahead and cure my bird up. And after I hit it with the light, I ran it through my... Uh, my bigger UV uh, machine down there. And then we're just not going to put this one on there. But I'll sit it up there by that bird to kind of show you what it's going to look like when I get both of them on the bowl. Okay, now I went and I emptied my uh, Rose of Jericho out of the other bowl we had it in. I washed the rocks off, the glass rocks off, and I got some fresh water for our Rose of Jericho. Um, look at that glass. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I wanted to show y'all my um, rock here. 
my husband's great grandfather used to make jewelry out of, uh, you know, these kind of uh, stones and rocks and things. And he would go all around the world and get different ones. And I picked out a bunch of different ones from his grandmother's yard. And that's one of my favorites. I had to share it with you guys. Okay, now we have our uh, glass rocks down in our bowl here. So I'm going to put my Rose of Jericho in there and situate it a little bit. Okay, it's going to put fit right there. And now I'm going to put my rocks, the rest of these rocks down in there. I wasn't sure if all of the glass rocks, the glass pieces would fit. So all of them will go back in there. Now I'm pouring the water in there. And now we're going to drop the rows of Jericho down in there. And I'm going to move the rocks around to make sure our rows of Jericho sits up right. That looks good right there. And I'm going to pour a little bit more water in there. And now we're done. Now I'm just cleaning up a little bit before I show you what we're going to do with our rows of Jericho next. Didn't that Rose of Jericho open up beautifully, you guys? It has been four hours and it is right on the money opening. It is beautiful. Has anyone heard of the Rose of Jericho? Let me know if anyone has heard of this rose before. Okay, now I'm going to show you why we made our bowl transparent. I have this little thing right here and it's a light and it turns to the left, it turns to the right, or it will sit still. You can turn it on and it throws all kinds of different colors off from the little light in the center. You can change the colors to one color or you can make it go through all the different colors. So I'm just going to plug it up right quick and then try to turn it on here. And then we'll take a look at our bowl and why we chose transparent for the color. Okay, I had to fix it. It wasn't plugged in very good, but I got it on now. Okay, I'm going to turn the lights off. And now let's take a look and see if we can see everything inside of the bowl. Oh, it's beautiful, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited about this. This turned out so beautiful. Look at those flowers. Oh, this is so gorgeous. What do you guys think? Well, it's about that time, my friends, for a sweet goodbye, and I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Goodbye, my friends.